Hey everybody, this is Way to Fail, back with more Rogue Legacy, where last time we died with Lady Jenny and a bunch of other of our prior issue. But today we're going to be going back into the castle and seeing if we can avenge our deaths. Where you can see how many people I lost in just 30 minutes of play. If you played the demo of this game, and I hope you did, and I hope you're interested in getting it too, uh, yeah, the main game is a lot harder, which is totally fine by me. But we are going to actually start here with, we could do Lady Faye who's colorblind, but we're going to do Lady Henrietta, a barbarian with IBS and tends to be a hypochondriac. So does that mean someone screams a little more and they get hurt? I don't know. We will find out. So I can upgrade a few different things here. In fact, I am going to go ahead and just get the architect for 130 gold, and I think that's going to keep me from spending anything else because I can lock down a dungeon that way. Upgrading the Barbarian is going to be important, and I don't think I have enough gold to do anything else worthwhile. So, too bad. But now we have the Engineer, so let's meet you, sir. Hey, buddy. Talk to me. Greetings, boy! Want to know a cool fact? I'm crazy! The lever here, when I pull, I can prevent the castle from changing. This way you can go through exactly what your ancestors went through. Impressed you should be. How do I build this fantastic contraption with science, of course, and magic. Mostly magic. But my skills aren't free. If I lock the castle, I'll take 70% of all gold you can earn. I'm not going to lock that down, but 70%. Yeah. Apparently, they're charging a premium since the demo, where it was 50%. So 170 gold, too bad. But let's see if we can fart our way to a victory. So let's listen for it. Oh, no. So apparently, IBS only affects you when it's least convenient, like when you're on a date or something. I don't know. Oh, that spikes right away. Now the fun thing too is that as you up- Oh, I, of course, the time I don't check to see if that's something that's going to kill me, it pops out and gets me. Fortunately, the Barbarian's a little tankier, so that helps. The question is now, do I go for these barrels? The answer, of course, is I'm OCD with these kind of games, so sure, why not? Let's go down here. Let's check to the left first. Sometimes these side rooms have interesting things. But let's just go and see. This is a large room. Hello, you. And I am able to actually start hurting things a little more. There's your fart. Oh, if only those farts did damage. But they don't. Or if they do... Okay. Do not like that those are almost going through the floors there. But... So just go ahead and come on over here. Once again, really do like the little pyro effects a very nice subtle touch and I somehow just took 50 damage okay so what else do we got we got we got bad gas we have someone who exaggerates a little too much from being hurt and we have a double jump that we aren't making the best use of but who cares because we're farting and farts are funny even in your 30s even, in, even when you're way too old to think farts are funny. Because there's no such thing as being too old. There's only you're the one farting or you're the one that's not farting. And that is my intelligent discussion of Rogue Legacy for the day. Hope you enjoyed. Now to the uh, Farter's Almanac. Oh, no. We're just going to go to the left here and see. There's all kinds of spikes. If I can hit that right, I can make this through. Oh, wow. I actually suck with those jumps normally. I may have actually been able to dash through that, but let's see here. Bad painting. Those double jumps will make you fart every time, and wow. He's level 11. Those guys are actually way beefier, or I need to increase my melee weapon damage, because those guys shouldn't be hurting me that badly. Fart again. Just wait for the fire and double tap, or single tap, whatever. Did I just run into another painting? I, th I want to say I hit him. Okay, I'm going to have to be very careful here because I need to upgrade my damage if I'm not hitting, killing these guys in two shots with the Barbarian. With the Mage, I understand, but finally, for the first time in what feels like years, I'm getting a big chest of gold, so I'm going to be able to upgrade. Well, I guess it would be years considering this is a legacy game and all of my ancestors that came before me, is there's something floating in the background. I can only imagine it's a bad war burner. So let's go to the left, and here we are. We are at the boss right away. Blueprint found, blood sword. That's new. And you know what? I said last time that I'd wait to see if we could try the boss. I feel like I'm doing okay with this run, considering I've only explored a tiny bit of the castle. 
But I'm kind of itching to try and see if the boss, if it's any different from the fight in the demo. So here we go, first boss. Let's do it. Kid ear, because of course in games like this they're non-linear, so you can do this whenever you want. Yes, this is different. Oh my god, there's spikes. The platforms are not nearly as friendly. And he... Because my strategy in the demo was to tuck myself on the side. This fight just got real, real difficult. At least compared to what I used to do, but that's okay. I'll just fart about it. I'm going to take our time and try and stay on the floor. See if we can dodge, 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 dodge. And not run into his face. Okay, so apparently jumping into the eye is a bad idea. So we ate it to the first boss. But we got a lot of money. And now we get to say Marvin with IBS, Johnny Bald, or Kiana the Savant. Let's try... Let's try Johnny. We haven't done a Baldy in a while. So there's all kinds of things I can upgrade. 670. I did get a blueprint for a blood sword. Um, I'm actually going to go ahead and focus on upgrading here a little bit. I do need to upgrade my attack. I'm going to upgrade my class, though, for Barbarian. And let's see here. Faurudas. And this is something that wasn't in the demo. Unlock Shinobi, the fleetest of fighters. That costs 500 gold. So we can upgrade our attack. We can upgrade our health. I think we're doing decently on health right now, but I'm going to get one more. Because I'm a mage, I need health. So let's see here, what do you got for me? New sword, not in the demo, blood sword. Adds vampirism, plus one, cost 500. And it hits for harder than what I have, but it also takes away health. And keep in mind the weight encumbrance factor too. I could actually possibly equip things and then have the... You can only equip what you can carry. So you gotta pay attention to your uh, weight limit. But that sword that does not actually help my health. doesn't really help. So it looks like we went to the tower that last episode at the end. Kind of ate it. Oof. Oh, zombie, come on. Just stay out of the ground. There we go. You too. Good stuff all around. Okay, let's go ahead and go up here first, because these enemies don't respawn when you leave. If I had dwarfism, I could skip all this. But of course you don't get these things while you actually have a dwarf. Whoa, big mistake. I should have known better. Because these things are firing at the same time. Can I actually air dash? Let's find out. Oh, well I can air dash that way. There we go. I actually want to pay attention if I'm hitting left or right. So here we go. Nice happy little platforms. Let's start to the left, maybe something good. That doesn't look very good. And I don't think there's a chest in here either, so we are just gonna go back the other way. This is a roguelike. Everything's randomly generated and not all rooms are created equal. Now I imagine if I keep going to the left, I will eventually hit the entrance to the tower again. So that's pretty nice that they, uh... It's nice that they took the time to say, okay, we're making a demo build, but we're gonna make the demo build more accessible. That makes a lot of sense, especially from the standpoint of you want to give something, people something really interesting to try, but if you make it too hard, you might scare them off. I mean, as much as you and me want to be badasses and say, yeah, we can take this, as much as you've seen me eat it here. Uh, fact is, is that you still gotta sell games to as many people as you can. So an accessible demo is a good, good way to do that. Although not everybody does demos. So that's our meta discussion for now. Apparently we've talked about farts, we've talked about game development, something I have not really been involved in. Not professionally at least, it was a hobby of mine back once upon a time, and maybe I should have stuck with software. But I was like Red Foreman, I was like, the future is not in computers, the future is in soldering. And if you have no idea what I'm talking about, you've only seen that show on syndication. If at all. Or maybe you actually watched it on TV. Now, I do like rooms like this because I can just poke these guys from underneath. I'm gonna scythe over here. That was actually really lucky aim and almost equally good aim from this bony guy here. So, Corrupt Knight. Notice he's level 16. These guys are ramping up their skills real fast. Blood Scythe! 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 There we go. And more monies. 200 gold. So, the rewards are getting even better, and I imagine this is the room to the tower again. Let's just poke our head up and see. Yep, that's... 
Entering the Maya. Anything I can get here? I don't really want to sequence break too much, considering those fires will probably kill me. So Castle Hans Hamsome, I keep wanting to call it Hansome. Uh, let's... let's... See, I cleared these other rooms. I'll keep exploring up here. So just drop down. Fortunately, there's no fall damage in this game. There we go. So hey, look, there's other things that are really fast. And I'm going to take some damage, probably take damage twice. It would be really nice to be able to skip them or freeze them or something, but I just got to time this perfectly. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, I died! Oh, I didn't even pay attention to my health. So wall turret, the retribution rune can damage invulnerable objects. Oh, that was a little disappointing. I felt like I had something going there. But instead, we're going to be doing... Uh, you never get to ride roller coasters as a dwarf. Um, all right, we're gonna do Sir Eric the Barbarian King, who his ability gives him knockback and he can knock back a little extra. Now I can spend some 500 gold to upgrade my sword. And if I do that, I'm not gonna be able to get anything else except for maybe some mana. Oh wait, I can't do math, that'll give me 600. So yeah, I can do that, I can, I can make this work. Let's go ahead and get a little bit more encumbrance. I'll float the uh, hundred. Let's see here. Sword I did not see in the demo. Blood sword. I have less health, but I regain health. Now you can change weapons every time you play. So if you're playing a low HP character where it's not a good idea to have low health, you can do this. But for now, we have a barbarian. My special abilities with Y. I will show you all in a moment. So right now I have, let's see what's down here. Probably a bad idea to jump, but we're gonna do it anyway. Notice there are some repeat rooms here. And I do have knives I can throw. And I do get a little bit of health for every attack I do, which is useful as I'm gonna be stupid and jump right into spikes. Or apparently win for every killing blow it does, so. Throw your other bone, buddy. Kill these guys. I mean, I just gotta go on a good killing streak of uh, not getting hit. So I imagine that other dude is uh, Doom Vass, whatever you wanna call it, who's only level two, and I'm killing him in two hits again. So I smell a secret room. It's right there. If I had a dwarf, I could go through that hole, but I don't. And that's where, if you really wanna explore some of those things, it's worth it if you can lock down the castle and go back because those fairy chests, those special chests, those secret chests. They do return, but for now we're just going to go ahead and break all the furniture, doesn't look like there's any secrets in here, and get some much needed health recovery. So he's just going to be very unhappy with what I did there. Oh, nice, come on, there we go. Actually that's piercing, I was kind of expecting that to break. So we'll use our special ability here in a minute, but for now just a room of a few statues kind of recklessly running into things. So, ah, wow, those guys go far, far back. And I just jumped right into, uh, right into a bone that was flying at me anyway, so I failed. But I do have some health. Oh, that was not what I meant to do. Now, the other thing is that your special ability, your big yell there, as I am getting really careless all of a sudden, uh, it does cost mana. So if you use it too much, like I just did there, I'm kind of twitchy on accident, because I wanted to throw a knife. And instead, I yelled really loud. That's got to be an interesting thought process. Fortunately, these guys have a slow wind-up, so generally you can tell. Same with the bone throwers, but they do like jumping when you're... Uh, okay, you are really trying to take some time to charge up. So it's interesting the shooting pattern there. All right. So one more. And we'll go ahead and close distance on you. Wow. Yeah, you, you fly real far, buddy. Let's not run into the bones this time, though. Okay, so sometimes in these dungeons, this castle will run into a shrine. That one was a health shrine. It gave me some mana back, which is nice. Unfortunately, I can't seem to be... I can't seem to hit and get these guys when I want to. Fortunately, I did manage to skill dodge at the last possible instant something there. I guess that's not something that's going to attack me. So good. We might live. Oh, get another blueprint. So blood chest. Now that's kind of going to be kind of a risk reward because if I go for a whole blood set and I have super low health, I could die. 
But of course, I've been dying so much in this game anyway. What's the use of worrying about it? I mean, eventually, that actually kind of does not work too well with that guy. I kind of don't want to knock these guys back because they'll just be able to shoot at me from far, far away. But what I want to know is why is this flying portrait, who now we have the beefier ones, so I gotta be extra mindful of that, why they don't just fly. Oh, Jesus, we don't want to go there yet. But we do get some more health, that's good. Gotta watch for the spiky ball. Yay, killing things, making friends. Spiky ball magically doesn't hurt me if I walk underneath it, so there we go. I'm level 12. Maybe this is going to be the time. We can always dare to dream. Okay, so he's going to attack right away when I get him. Okay, we do not like you guys shooting fireballs at me. And unfortunately, I did just almost kite myself into two. Yay, I actually hit the knife button that time. I don't know if I have enough mana for one more knife. I do. Unfortunately, the Corrupt Knight just got shot back way further, but maybe that's for the best. Please don't barbecue me. Oh, man, that was actually me doing something that I meant to do there, dodging. Ooh. So there we go. Some, some, something good. Okay, try not to get slashed and killed there. Nope, you're not going to hurt me. I don't think there's anything to the other side either, unless it's a secret. And what do you know, we made our way up to the next area again. And what's going to kill us? The Maya? Anything good here? Not really. And notice the uh, different level of area. So I keep making it up to the tower. I guess it's because I have a tendency to explore up instead of down. We're actually going to go back and use the transporter this time. Whee! It's magic! And you can't leave. And we're actually doing pretty decently on health. We're going to be trying to go to the right this time. See if we can get to some new areas. Starting with this guy who's getting killed in two hits. So we're getting we're getting stronger. Now let's see here. That's just a guard box, not a special one. Good thing I paused because there's that Charite coming. I kind of prefer just to fight those guys one off. Because they will charge you and it's not pleasant. And I just walk into a bone because I'm an idiot. See, that's the problem with these guys. They will just come after you. And they're they're actually really good at sneaking up behind you when you're trying to deal with something else. Or, if you're like me and bad at this game, they're just really good at killing you. I bet there's someone... This game hasn't been out there for a few hours. I'm sure there's somebody out there that's already beaten it. There's always somebody who's like, I am better at games than everybody. But we're just here to have fun, see what we can clear. Rogue, Rogue Legacy is just really kind of hilarious the way that missiles keep shitting on my face. Pardon the language. Alright. Um, no. That's better. Good use of knife, perhaps. And here's the boss again. Are we going to fight the boss this time? You know, we do have 600 gold. We have more than 600 gold. We got another rune, so squire chestplate, which is more armor. I think I may actually take on... Oh, the forest Akavania. So yeah, I am going to take on the boss because we've actually gone through some areas. We've unlocked some new stuff. Let's go ahead and see, learning what we learned last time about this guy, if we can take him on and kill him. Are we going to be able to? Hey, killer. Now, my strategy before was to kind of stay on the platforms, but this time I'm just going to stay low, low, low and try and run as best I can. Because, And the main reason is that he has some attacks that come in pretty awful waves that make you run, so... I gotta do a better job of pixel dodging, man. I'm very, I gotta do a better job of not jumping into the boss. So, pro gamer right here. Not really. Okay, so see, that's the one attack we really want to avoid. And he's going to do it the other way. Oh, damn it. Oh, well. Sir Eric has been slain. Make sure to expand your mana. You never know what new skills can be revealed. That's true, and we're going to be spending a good bit of money next time. But for now, 
going to call this an episode. This is Way to Fail with Rogue Legacy. You should check it out at Cellar Door Games. It's a really, really, really fun experience. Hope you all enjoyed it. I will see you all next time.